I have already discussed that the Russian Orthodox Patriarch Kirill is not a Putin's right-hand man, his political power is very limited, he was not informed when the war was about to start, and he had to react to the events in order to formulate his own ideological line. Kirill is regarded worldwide as one of the ideologues of the war, especially by suffering Christians in Ukraine, including those who belong to the Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate. He is practically mocked by the Pope, who called him a Putin altar boy, and hated by most other world religious leaders. But does he actually benefit from the war? Is it any good for his political power, influence, or his leadership in the Church? I would say no. Although in most of his public speeches and sermons he praises and supports the Russian aggression, his actual interests are suffering even in the realm of ideology and ecclesiology. As I have said already, the Russian Orthodox Church sees Russia and most of the former Soviet Union as her canonical territory. Even when she recognizes the state borders, she still claims her status as the mother church to all Orthodox communities in the space and does not recognize any alternative churches, whether they are in communion with the mother church in Constantinople or not. In Ukraine, there are several Orthodox churches, of which Moscow naturally only recognizes the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate. Since the first days of the Russian aggression, most of the military action has unfolded in the east of Ukraine, where most of the population is Russian-speaking and most of Orthodox believers actually belong to the Church of the Moscow Patriarchate. The bombs have fallen on the monasteries, local churches, and many parishioners face the military aggression blessed by their own patriarch. In the first days of war, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church tried to appeal to the patriarch and Moscow patriarchate many times, but to no avail. As a result, the church became practically independent. Most of the parishes stopped the canonical practice of the liturgical remembrance of the patriarch and sided with their people against the aggressor. The big ideological picture that the patriarch still tries to maintain basically crumbles. His idea of the Holy Rus, where Russians, Ukrainians and Belarusians are the same nation, baptized in Kiev in the year 988, is shattered, because one part of this holy nation invades and assaults another one, kills Orthodox believers and destroys churches' buildings. Every time Kirill puts the blame on the external forces, NATO or the West with its gay pride parades, he fails to explain how exactly those evil forces caused the extensive military invasion of one brotherly nation into another. Please like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. I see you next time.